again. That's right. Good morning. You are listening to Nine Five Point Five. telephone Bow. just to let him know that he's not alone Bow. we got no money and so many bills to pay Bow. i wonder will we make another day and then my baby says he says girl, girl, girl all you got to do in this whole world is play music, music. pretty as that you can Music, snap your fingers, clap your hands. Music, laugh and let your heart feel glad. Everything will be all right. Now we got no money to pay the rent. And what we earn tonight, it's already spent. My baby says, don't worry if times get hard. Just before the dawn, it always gets this dark, don't you know? When it gets so black, you think the end is near. So near. That's when all the stars appear like music. music. They light up the land. Music. Snap your fingers, clap your hands. Music. Laugh and let your heart feel glad. Everything will be all right. Just keep playing, girl. Everything will be all right. Just have faith that everything will be all right. Mm -hmm. Everything will be all right. Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> You're tuned in to 95.5 WART. And I'm here with you this morning, your host Ricochet, for another episode of Ricochet Freeform Radio. And right now I have brand new music for you from Kali Ukis. Hello. Can you hear me? I just wanted to tell you I love you. Get to time. 
shall come lift me in upon the highest break. We could make our shelter down a mile.
Stop up the dam.
Good morning once again. I think I'm ready for you. <laughs> you are listening to 95.5 WART, the voice of Madison County. I'm here on formerly indigenous land of the Cherokee and other in indigenous people. Now on March 9th, 2023, we call it Marshall, North Carolina. I'm here on Main Street next to the magnificent French Broad River. <laughs> and I just played a bunch of music for you and I'm about to tell you about it. <laughs> Good morning. It's the Ricochet Show. I'm your host, Ricochet. I got the apple, I got the orange. I got some whale sounds in the background for Pisces season here. And before that, we heard from the Anthology of Experimental Music from Latin America. It's a compilation that came out on Bandcamp last month. And that song was called Leaving the Body from Tarme Tia. And before that, we heard from Cynthia Dahl. Ever since I saw Bill Callahan, I've been um, on a Cynthia Dahl kick. She only had two albums before her way too early, untimely passing in 2012. And we heard the song Holland from her untitled album that came out in 1996 off of Drag City Records. We heard new, old uh, music from Emma Hoy, Sieg, Miriam, Gebru. The title track from the new one on Bandcamp, it's called Jerusalem. We heard the song Jerusalem. And I want to send that one out to DJ Marbles, who is probably sleeping. She loves classical music, and I said I would play something that she would like. Emma Hoy um, from Ethiopia. And e I'm going to read from Bandcamp here for you. I'm going to re-up my whale sounds. And yeah, she is an Ethiopian nun. whose recordings have funded orphanages um, back home in Ethiopia since the early 60s. Her compositions and unique playing style live somewhere between Eric Sadie, Debussy, liturgical music of the Coptic Ethiopian Church, and Ethiopian traditional music. This is the first archival release of the great composer's recordings since the Ethiopiques series, which I've played here a bunch, reintroduced her music to the world in 2006. The record picks up where the last two Mississippi releases left off with tracks from her 1972 album, Hymn of Jerusalem, of which only a handful of copies are known to exist. So get on your band camp. The whole album comes out on April 7th, and there are just a couple of tracks available right now we heard Jerusalem. Before that, we heard from Cougar on a Meth Binge with the song Mono Lake from their 2016 album Light in You, also on Bandcamp. 
And we started our show with a tiny little 30 second blip of the new Kali Ukas in my garden where she's saying, I love you. Um, I've been kind of starting this show off lately with I love you messages. <laughs> so good morning. It's so nice to be here. It's so beautiful this morning. And I will be here with you until 9 a.m. And I have a bunch more wonderful, excellent music for you. Of course, we started our show off with the song Music by the Ace of Cups. And I think that's all I have to tell you for now. I left my little notebook at home with my set list. I feel a little out of place, but... Oh, you know what we heard? We heard Vashti Bunyan. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, before the whale sounds, we heard my Vashti Bunyan record, and the song was If I Were. And then before that, we heard the anthology of experimental music from Latin America. <laughs> right now, we're going to hear some call bells, cool and bendable.
miss my mom and dad My brother and his kid But I can't afford to look back now It's not like I ever did
one fine morning I'm gonna ride out Yeah, one fine morning I'm gonna ride out Just me and the skeleton crew We're gonna ride out In a country kind of silence We're gonna ride out in a country silence. Yeah, one fine morning. It's all coming back to me now. My apocalypse. My apocalypse. The curtain rose and burned. Sun. Yeah, the curtain rose and burned in the morning sun. And the mountain. In the mountain, bow down in the morning sun. Like a ballet of the heart. Yeah, the mountains bow down like a valley in the morning sun. The baby and we all lay in state. Yeah, the baby and we all lay in state. I say, hey, no more drover in. I say, hey, no more drover in.
When the earth turns cold And the earth turns black Will I feel you riding on my back? Yeah, when the earth turns cold and the earth turns black. Will I feel you riding on my back? For I am a part. Yeah, I am a part of the road The hardest part The hardest part DC four five oh oh D Four, five, oh, oh, Good morning once again. We've got more whale sounds for you. How does Bill how does Bill Callahan's guitarist get to sound like a whale? That's what I want to know. I have so many questions for Bill Callahan. Can you hear the whale sounds? I'm unplugged. I've been on the uh I've been mixing up plug one and plug two this morning. And it's kind of messing with me. But that was a very excellent hour of radio. So I'm told. So I guess we're good. <laughs> and I have another hour to go. Holy cow. It's Ricochet Day Freeform Radio. It's 10 after 8. Well, I have 50 minutes to go. On WART, the voice of Madison County, here on your FM dial at 95.5, and streaming online at wartfm.org. Hey, no more droverin, you. Hey, no more droverin. That's what I want to know. Bill Callahan, what are you talking about? Why are you obsessed with drovering? 
why do I feel like I relate to your song so much? And then you start going on and on about Drovering, and I don't relate to that at all. These are the questions that I'm asking this morning on this gorgeous, sunny, dazzling, Piscean March 9th morning. I love when the date when the date is like divisible by itself, like three nine. So before Bill Callahan's song One Fine Morning off of his album Apocalypse. That came out. I don't have the record sleeping. Three Bill Callahan record sleeves here, but not the one I'm looking for. We got Droverin, we got... <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I'm pretty sure it came out in 2012. The year my daughter was born. Because I remember listening to it a lot when I was pregnant with her and when after she was born. Before Bill Callahan, we heard from Cynthia Dahl with Wastebasket Kid 2 from her 2002 Sound Restores Young Men. Oh, it's so good. So Cynthia Dahl was one of the original members of Smog, Bill Callahan's first band, and uh, she dated Bill Callahan for a while. She suffered from epilepsy in her life and passed away in 2012. She was a a solid activist on the West Coast, beautiful musician. Um, The two albums that she came out with, Untitled and Songs uh, and Sound Restores Young Men, are both just so good, and I've been listening to them all week. And now I bring them to you. It was on my grocery list, too. I thought of it at the grocery store to listen to... I had to put Cynthia Dahl on my radio show. It's like bagels, onions, Cynthia Dahl. Before that, we heard Animal Collective from Meriwether Post Pavilion. The song is My Girls. And this is another one. Oh, we are working from memory this morning. But I remember picking up Meriwether Post Pavilion in the village and spacing out so hard. I got it on um, CD, 2009. Um, And I put it on in my CD player in my car and spaced out so hard, got lost, almost ended up in Staten Island. What? Look out when you get those new Animal Collective records, kids. Pay attention. Before that, we heard from Peter, Peter Hughes with Los Viejos. I was, I was dancing, you guys. I was having fun. I wasn't writing stuff down. And now, now I pay. Um... Peter Peter Hughes, bassist from the Mountain Goats, um, and he came out with some. He's come out with some solo um, stuff, and it's awesome. It's so fun. This is called Fangio, F A N G I O. I didn't know he was from Rochester, which is also fun. Or well, that's what it says on his Bandcamp here, where I have this album. We heard Los Viejos. It came out in. Excuse me, 2010. And it's super fun. I recommend it. And I love that he's called Peter Peter Hughes. It reminds me of the bird call. Have you all been having fun listening to the birds lately? Maybe cracking a window, getting some bird song in the morning. Peter Peter, we should we could just do Whale sounds and and bird song for the rest of the show. (laughs) That's it. (laughs) You never know what you're going to find here. Before Peter Peter Hughes, we heard Cool and Bendable from Call Bells from their 2020 album, Mother Time. I used to play um, 
I've been, I probably sound super happy. I've, I've had this like, oh, very weird blend of espresso that I've been drinking and I've been practicing like a crazy ton amount of yoga and going to the gym a lot. So I think between the endorphins and the espresso <laughs> and maybe the astrology, gotta love some of that leftover full moon um, energy. So yeah, it's been kind of a funny week. Um, I used to teach whole entire yoga classes where I would just put on like an hour and a half of whale sounds. I'd be like, okay, this is what we're listening to. <laughs> And I miss it. I've been recording yoga classes online because I still want to teach. I just want to reach like a bit of a broader community. And what's even weirder than teaching how to like sit and breathe <laughs> in person is teaching online. And what's even weirder than that is just sitting in front of your iPhone talking to yourself about breathing and moving and stuff. And I also listen to a lot of guided meditations online. And it's always a good reminder, just just for fun this morning. Just take some deep breaths. Breathe into your bones. Breathe into your blood. Breathe into your fingers and toes. And your eyes and your ears and your nose. Breathe into your chest and your shoulders and your belly. I won't repeat it just for fun. Breathe into your bones, into your bones. Breathe into your chest, into your chest. Breathe into your fingers and toes, fingers and toes. Breathe into your feet, feet. <laughs> Breathe into your butt, butt. For all yoga teachers know based on research, the butt, butt. It's the home of darkest shadows, abundant chaos, and the truth. Sometimes, also based on research, smartest, most brilliant billionaires wake up. They like to move their fingers and toes, toes. They like to move their feet, feet. They like to move their butt, butt. I encourage you to do the same this morning, dear listener. Don't be ashamed. Get up, shake it, move it. Now's the time. On 95.5 WART, the voice of Madison County. heard this song this morning you might be saying to yourself ricochet i know you're repeating everything twice like peter peter but this is a little too much i do want to play two songs by call bells but the other song by call bells that i wanted to play is not this one let's hear from kevin ayers right now the butterfly dance and don't don't be ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I made a mistake. I do it five million times a day. Maybe six bajillion, actually. And everything you say Shake it. is play. And that's how you should treat it. And everyone is high until there's something <laughs> Stay, that's not the time to go. No, 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 no. That's when you should stay and let your love just flow.
Okay, I'm being serious now. <laughs> Thanks for dancing with me. That was fun. I hope you all danced. Um, I want to talk for a minute about Wayne Shorter, who passed away this past week, in all seriousness. Um, amazing American saxophonist who played with Miles Davis and I think is best known for um, the weather report. And let's learn about him. Jersey Strong from Newark, New Jersey. He started to play. His father encouraged him to take up the clarinet as a teenager. Um, his older bl brother played alto saxophone as well, switched to trumpet. He went to NYU and earned a degree in music education in 1956, spent two years in the Army. And after that, um, where he continued to play music in the Army, he played with Maynard Ferguson um, and then began the weather report. Herbie Hancock said of Shorter's tenure and Miles Davis's second great quintet, the master to me in that group was Wayne Shorter. He still is a master. Wayne was one of the very few people who brought music to Miles that didn't get changed. A real composer. He writes scores, writes the parts for everybody just as he wants them to sound. He also brought in a kind of curiosity about working with musical rules. If they didn't work, then he broke them. But with musical sense, he understood that freedom in music was the ability to know the rules in order to bend them to your own satisfaction and taste. Ooh, sounds like a yogi to me. Um, you've heard Wayne Shorter here on this show, uh, not as a solo artist, but I've played the Weather Report a bunch and some of that Miles Davis stuff. So I want to play for you now. Virgo um, is the track and something, something to let wash over you as we celebrate the life of Wayne Shorter who left us a little earlier this week.
You're hearing brand new music from Kali Uchis, and now I've got brand new music from Boy Genius for you. Black hole opened in the kitchen. Again, new music for you from Boy Genius. They have a new EP called The Album, and it's awesome. It's just a handful of songs. Um, Lucy Dacus, Phoebe Bridgers, and Julian Baker. Ooh, ooh. Got you for a few more minutes here on WART, the voice of Madison County.
right now in the background. I had to turn it up and hear it in my headphones because I'm enjoying it. Um, the soundtrack to The Adventures of Tintin. We're doing things in twos today. Tintin, Peter Peter. And uh, my son is like obsessed with The Adventures of Tintin right now. And we were talking about Ricochet Freeform last night. And I said, what would you play if you were going to play? And he said, the soundtrack to the adventures of Tintin. <laughs> so this one's going out. See old Leo Baggio at home. Got some Tintin bed music for you. My buddy. We just heard the new song from Boy Genius. Ooh, n- never an uh, never a God, always an angel. I love the lyrics to that one. Um, and it's a clean one, which is great. For me, it's called Not Strong Enough. And it's off of their new EP, the album. Before that, we heard from Kali Yuchis, I think is how you pronounce her name. She's a Colombian-American singer. And her new album, Red Moon and Venus, is... Um, going around people are talking about it people are digging it i myself am digging it we heard the track moonlight and kind of encapsulates the mood here this morning i'm feeling really goofy and just having some fun in all seriousness once again i have a psa for you from fiona apple who um has become obsessed with court watching and I've talked a little bit on this show about things that annoy me and things that are unfair and the criminal justice system is certainly something you could put your mind to for a while and she's encouraging everyone to try out court watching you can watch court cases your local court cases on zoom and on the internet Um, this is a public service that everyone is entitled to watch court cases that are happening live and um, as we've come to learn like the personalities of different DAs different lawyers different judges seem to have um, a real long-term effect on people's lives and you know if we're judging people based on your personality or what type of mood you're in or if you have like a personal vendetta for this person or if you like the lawyer or not um these are things that we we can understand all of this information is um out there for us and it's hard not to feel hopeless sometimes it's hard not to to be like oh i don't know what to do or how to help um but i don't I I can't stand when people are like, I don't know how this happens. Like, all the information is there. We just have to poke around a little bit and find it. So I'm going to play for you a PSA from Fiona Apple called Court Watchers. She talks a little bit in it, and then um, there's a little cartoon that goes along with it, and she does the music for the whole thing. And that's what I'm going to play for you now. There are four screens in front of me. In two, lawyers dressed in suits. In the third, a judge in a robe. Then, a person in an orange jumpsuit, hands cuffed behind his back. I'm watching a bail hearing. Within two days of someone's arrest, they are brought before a judge like this one, who will decide whether they'll be released or incarcerated in jail while their case proceeds. These decisions can mean life or death and they are made within minutes, with little information. All over the country, thousands of people go through these hearings each day, as if in a national assembly line of injustice. But in a growing number of places, people are beginning to hold actors accountable by showing up in court and documenting what they see. We are here, and we are watching. Injustice happens in empty courtrooms. Her first day court watching, Carmen was nervous. The trauma of her own incarceration had stripped her of her voice. She was here to take it back and be the ally she never had. Honestly, I knew I had to be a court watcher because words that are spoken are only in the air. Words that are recorded remain for all to see. 
Carmen sat in court for six hours that day, watching and writing, witnessing everyday injustices, large and small, all consequential. This principle of courts open to the public was inscribed in the Constitution by the nation's founders, who themselves suffered injustice behind closed doors during British rule. But the demands of modern life and the fast-paced legal jargon used in the courtroom means the public can't truly access what happens in court. There's no check on unseen injustice. Carmen wanted to change that. Through life after release, she was given the freedom to build up Court Watch PG. Along with other court watching groups across the country, it seeks to train a legion of volunteers to attend hearings and learn the language and process of court so that they can take notes, amplify the injustices they witness, and hold power accountable. Anyone, everyone could be trained to Court Watch, even if they knew nothing about the law. When the pandemic hit, the stakes got higher. Even one night in an overcrowded jail could be a death sentence. But in some places, court could now be attended virtually, making it more accessible. Ordinary people from all across the country started volunteering with Court Watch PG. Most had never stepped foot in a courtroom. Carmen explained to them that bond hearings could be a fork in the road, determining not only one person's future, but that of generations of followers. She taught them what to look and listen for in court, and how they could get that information to decision makers and the public. And as they worked, they noticed the ways the system began responding. Prosecutors and judges became aware of their presence. Their accountability letters changed behaviors in the courtroom. Across the country, court watchers are realizing their power. I court watch because the system will not regulate itself without observers to hold it accountable. I've seen judges make jokes at the expense of the people who stand before them. With transparency comes accountability. With accountability comes justice. I witness judges berate people when showing clear signs of mental illness. There should be court watching in every city and county across the nation. Court watching feels like taking care of each other. This could happen to any of us, any of you. All of us need to be participating. Justice is possible when we hold power accountable. Court Watch. Shamika said I had potential. Shamika said I had potential. Shamika said I had potential. I used to march down the windy, windy sidewalk, slapping my leg with the riding crop, thinking it made me come off so tough. I didn't smile because a smile always seemed rehearsed I wasn't afraid of the bullies and that just made the bullies worse In class I'd pass the time drawing a slash for every time the second hand went by A group of five done twelve times was a minute but Shamika said I had potential 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 Hurricane Gloria in ecstasis tail That's my bird and my tree My dog and my man and my music is my holy trinity Hurricane Gloria in ecstasis tail That's my bird and my tree My dog and my man and my music is my holy trinity Tony told me he described me as pissed off, funny and warm Sebastian said I'm a good man and a stone Back then I didn't know what potential meant And Shumika wasn't gentle and she wasn't my friend but she got through to me and I'll never see her again She got through to me and I'll never see her again I'm pissed 
just all funny and warm I'm a good man in the storm And when the fall is torrential I'll recall Shamika said I had potential 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 Good man in a storm, and when the fall is torrential, I recall. Shamika said I had potential. 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 Shamika said I had potential Shamika from Fetch the Bolt Cutters, Fiona Apple's 2020 album that came out and saved all of our lives in 2020. Here, <laughs> maybe I'm just speaking for myself. Um, before that, we heard that PSA of hers about court watchers. And if that's something you're interested in, feel free to spread the word. If you like to watch TV, if you like true crime, if you like being nosy, I think it's a cool idea. Um, something I could definitely see myself doing uh, maybe when my kids are a little older. <laughs> uh, and yeah, for sure could see her doing that. She's a, I'm going to go a little later this morning because this is community freeform radio and no one's waiting for me to end my show. And um, that's what I want to do. So I love the idea of court watching. Thank you, Fiona Apple. Um, she's a double Virgo with a Scorpio rising, and I want to talk a little more about that in a second with a call to action as well. But first, I completely forgot to back up the whole rest of that other set of music. Before Boy Genius, we heard Kali, U- Kali Uchis. Before that, we heard um, La Fleur from the Bacow Rhythm and Steel Band. I feel really certain. Well, no, I don't. I'm not sure. I couldn't remember if I played the mini Ripperton version of that song, La Fleur's. Um, but I know I didn't play the Bacow Rhythm and Steel Band version from Germany on the Steel Pans doing that beautiful classic of Minnie Ripperton's Le Fleur. Um, before that, we heard new music from The Sacred Souls. Well, new-ish. It's from 2022 from Daptone Records, and the song was Trade of Hearts. Um, and we started off our set, speaking of Virgo, with Wayne Shorter celebrating his music um, after his passing last week, last week, this week, with uh, the song Virgo from the album Night Dreamer. It originally came out on Blue Note in 1964, and then it was remastered. We heard an alternative take of that track, Virgo. Um, It was remastered and reissued in 2004. Okay. There's a lot of songs about space. There's a lot of songs about planets and stars and stuff. And I've been learning a lot about astrology and talking a little bit about it here on the show. But I know what a turnoff it is for people who don't like uh, astrology to have to hear someone talk about it. So I had an idea to do a radio, like a nighttime radio show when the stars are out um, and I can play records about space and planets and stuff like that. And if I have any astrologer friends who are out there listening who would like to do a little bit of networking, spread the word about their astrology work, maybe you would like to do this show with me because I'm not an astrologer. <laughs> I just know a little bit. But what I love is I like 
for this show, looking at the birth charts of um, musicians and artists and creators, I think it's really interesting. So I think it'd be really fun to do a show with an astrologer, talk about like the basic astro weather, um, you know, the planets, the houses, the signs, kind of 101, and then maybe looking at charts of famous people. I don't know. It's just an idea. Do you like it? Email the station. Um, wartfm.org is our website and you can contact us through there you can call me in the next 10 minutes at 828-649-1302 I think Saturday night would be really fun a little Saturday night astro show we can play Sun Ra records and talk about space I don't know um, I have one more song to play for you. I want to go out on a love song as I have been doing the last several weeks. So we're going a little late this morning and that's quite all right with me and I hope it's okay with you too. Thanks so much to the Madison County Arts Council for letting me come in here every Thursday morning, be real weird, play weird music for you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week. You keep it locked right here to wartfm.org. Be like Fiona Apple and ricochet with our Scorpio risings. Keep making that good trouble. <laughs> Drink lots of water. <laughs> and uh, you'll be hearing from me next week for another episode of Ricochet Freeform on The Voice of Madison County. I want to leave you here with Curtis Mayfield record, Only You, Babe. And you'll be hearing from me in a week. Bye. So quick.